Hey guys, today I'll be taking you to a photo shoot of a local event, something that I typically photograph. I'm gonna take you guys with me and show a little bit of the behind the scenes of the whole photo shoot. Then tomorrow morning, we're gonna edit the photographs together. I'm gonna take you through some of the mindset and the ideas of the photographs. And then hopefully you'll get something out of this, hopefully learn something as well. For the gear, I'll be using two cameras this time around, the Sony Alpha 7 IV, which is recording me right now with a 17 to 28 millimeter wide angle lens from Tamron. This is an f2.8 aperture and we'll be needing that f2.8 because it's going to get really dark. And then my second camera is going to be my Sony Alpha 7 III with the Tamron 70 to 180 telephoto lens. This one is also f2.8. So let's go. the high quality gear <laughs> yeah. okay so this is gonna be the venue for today my job is to photograph things that are happening here but there's a whole bunch of other things happening around the town so a whole bunch of work okay so whenever you have a Sun like I have in the back you can use that to get a nice sun star. So like the whole goal for today's photography session is to capture people in their moments. So this is like a food and beer festival with music. So technically people are going to eat food, drink beer, have fun, listen to music. So that's kind of the thing I have to capture because these photos are going to be posted then on all the local websites, magazines and you know, things that are promoting stuff so technically i have to do a good job of you know how people are having fun and well they are having fun i mean how could you not have fun with food drink and music okay so i've already downloaded the photographs uh, on my laptop i've already edited them and sent them to the client but I'm gonna show you a few of the photographs and kind of the mindset behind the whole story well of taking these photographs and yes I do have a I do have a bit of a headache it was a it was a rough night so I'm editing all of my photographs just in Lightroom I use a very special preset that I have and I have a very established way of how I choose and edit my photographs altogether I took 382 photos with two cameras now that's not a lot for an event but throughout the years I've managed to kind of optimize my whole workflow now I don't want to sift through like a thousand photographs and then just have to pick you know 50 to 100 photos to send to the client so these are all the photographs first thing what I do is I go through each and every one of them and then I choose the ones that are well Kind of interesting like this one over here with the sun star and this guy posing with the beer i added one star rating here in lightroom and then i just go on and i choose for instance this photo it's also one star rated and once i get through all of the photographs i typically end up between 50 and 100 so if i just show you the ones that i've picked attributes rating equal to one star these are the photos that i've picked out so 83 out of 380 something. So these are the ones that were then edited and packed up and sent to the client. So first of all, what I do is I select all the photographs and I add my own preset. So I have a preset over here, user presets, middle. Now let me show you what this does. I'm actually going to edit just one photo so that you know we kind of get the idea. Let's choose this one for instance. So this one was resetted, so there's no edit on it. This is the raw photograph. And if I apply my preset, which by the way is not for sale, but I'm just gonna show you what it does. So this preset applies the auto balance. It applies lens corrections. So I was shooting this with the Tamron and it adds a bit of a vignette, but more importantly, it creates two masks. So the sky mask, which in this case, uh, you now Lightroom figured that this was the sky, not very important, but the subject mask is important because if I show you the subjects well you know Lightroom picked out the three subjects and now I can edit them separately from everything else and here for the subjects I have this preset so I tone down the highlights 
I bring up the shadows, I bring up the whites just to make them more poppy. Now I also apply a bit more texture and clarity to really make the subject stand out. So if I show you, so this is without the mask and this is with the mask, you can see you know, it's a, it's a very subtle difference. Now this photo is not the best example for this, but I do already have a subject background separation. So let's first crop this image in because I want these lines to kind of start on the edge. So let's go like this. Okay, I think this would be a better composition. You have this framing on top, and then I'm just going to balance out, maybe make, make it a bit more punchy, take down the highlights, make the blacks really black. Now and this would be the result. So the before and after, now much more detail and much more clarity. So I exported all of the photographs with the date, with the title uh, and the number. And before I pack them up, I always check them if everything is okay. So I zip them all up and send them to the client. Anyway, this was my photo session and my photo editing process. I'm gonna finish my coffee and then go to bed for at least an hour or two because I really need it. If you have any comments or questions about this, about the preset for instance, let me know down below. Also, since you're down there, you can choose one of my affiliate links if you want to purchase everything. Most of them are from Amazon, so if you do Amazon shopping, now try going to Amazon through my affiliate links. You're actually helping me out a lot. If you do this, it doesn't cost you anything more, but I do get a kick of a bit of a percentage of everything that you buy. So thanks for supporting the channel this way. Subscribe if you're new, hit the like button for the algorithm, and if you wanna stay on the channel, watch this video over here. Thank you, and I'll see you in this one. Bye-bye.